You are being lied to about who is truly developing the Tomb Raider remasters as well as the Soul Reaver Legacy of Kane remasters as well. Everybody is led to believe that it's Crystal Dynamics developing these games and Aspire publishing them, or some even think it's just Aspire doing them. And at one point, I was under this impression as well, given how the credits were shared on the box art and on the storefront pages and so on and so forth. But let the record be clear, and I will bring you my receipts in this video, that Crystal Dynamics are not, and I already knew this much, Crystal Dynamics first and foremost are not developing these remasters. They didn't develop the last Tomb Raider 1 through 3 remasters. They didn't develop, they're not developing the 4 through 6 remasters, and they're also not developing the Soul Reaver stuff. Let the record be clear there, but it's also not Aspire developing them either. They are publishing them. But for some reason, whether it be Crystal Dynamics or whoever, which I would assume it's Crystal Dynamics, they don't want you to know that Saber Interactive are the developers. Why is very odd, but let's, I mean, let's just get the record straight here. When it comes to the Tomb Raider franchise specifically, the recent remasters are the only things that have actually been profitable. I mean, the Tomb Raider franchise has been in shambles because of Crystal Dynamics. So they can't take credit for this that has actually done well because the fans have been begging for remasters, which mind you, Crystal Dynamics refused to do, which now is a blessing because if Crystal Dynamics did the remasters, they would have butchered them and censored the crap out of them. But because Saber Inter Interactive did the remasters and Embracer handed it off to them and because Embracer bought the Tomb Raider IP as well as the studios and because they handed it off that is why we're getting good remasters now they're even asking on Reddit there's questions like is it true that Crystal Dynamics disapproved of the remasters and only Embracer pushed for it I keep seeing this claim on Twitter but I don't know if it is real it is real fans have been begging Crystal Dynamics for remasters for a very 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 long time and we were given excuse after excuse after excuse for why they wouldn't do it one of those being we just don't think there's a market for it. But let's be real. A lot of fans, including myself, has speculated that Crystal Dynamics absolutely hate classic Lara Croft. Obviously not everybody who works at Crystal Dynamics, but those who are making the decisions here, the big decisions here, they hate classic Lara Croft. They have been trying with this concerted effort to replace her with this whole reboot narrative and then even taking that further and making that even worse with what we're seeing with the Netflix stuff. That is because of Crystal Dynamics. All of that is. And so, yeah, they hate classic Lara Croft because she's not woke enough for them. They don't like that she is a beautiful uh, action heroine who does things that they don't like. So, for example, how she steals artifacts. They don't like that. She's not woke enough for them and they hate her and they try to make her unrecognizable in every way possible. Her looks, her backstory, her parents, her motivations, her personality absolutely everything. So they have refused to do this. Um, but Embracer bought the IP and the studios and they handed off the remaster project to Aspire as the publisher and Saber Interactive developed them. People keep trying to argue with me about this, but I've got receipts. Obviously, I know people on the team, which I'm not going to say who I've talked to on this. I'm going to keep my sources anonymous, but I know people on the team. And yes, I know what's going on with this. Plus we have the actual credits for the game. So if you don't take my word for it about my sources, then at least hear me with that. Also, my source has told me that the Legacy of Kane, uh, the Soul Reaver remasters uh, coming out are also being developed by Saber Interactive. So we know that it's not Crystal Dynamics doing that. Um, so anyway, here's something else that's been revealed. They've already been covering up the Saber Interactive stuff. If you look at the Nintendo webpage, if you even look at... Um, Steam, so on and so forth. They do not credit Saber Interactive on here. Here they have Aspire as publisher and that's it. 
right? Um, I know on some pages they put Aspire as the developer and publisher from what I've seen. And so a lot of people are led to believe that it's Aspire. But what the truth of the matter is, is Saber Interactive are the developers, which right here you can see on the actual credits, right? You see on the actual credits, Saber Interactive Development Team, you've got your production director, your senior producer, your build engineers, game designer, platform programmers, so on and so forth. And for those who don't know the lore behind it, Saber Interactive hired X Proger here he, if you don't know who he is, he has been developing fan-made Tomb Raider projects for a very long time. The dude is a genius engineer. Like he has, or programmer, he has done some awesome, awesome stuff for the Tomb Raider community. And so they hired him. He put together an Avengers team of Tomb Raider fans. And that is why the remasters have been amazing. That's why they look good. Um, you know, yeah, you look at the actual credits to see who are hired on that, right? So you have like, for example, uh, Giovanni Luca, he was working on a fan project of Tomb Raider 3 for a while. And so they hired him as lead artist. But then you have character artist Conrad Majewski, and you also have Victor uh, Pyatkin here, but Conrad, which I know I'm not pronouncing his name right, I'm sorry, Conrad. I always try to get it right. I made a video years ago about a mod that he made for uh, for Tomb Raider and stuff like that. So he has been a huge part of the community and he's the one who's responsible, Conrad, is for the uh, character art of the updated Lara Croft, which as you can see is just stunning. It's perfect. So this super team has worked with Saber Interactive or hired by Saber Interactive to create these remasters, but they want to hide the credit for them. You even see uh, on the physical editions, right, that for the Tomb Raider remasters that they partnered with Limited Run Games, I didn't get the physical copies just because I have beef with limited run games. They fired their community manager, who is a friend of mine. They fired Carolyn because, and I have a whole video about that, but because of some true wildebeest had an issue with her because she liked libs of TikTok or she was following them, things like that. So anyway, for stupid reasons. So for that reason, I refused to support limited run games and I did not get the physical editions of the remasters as a result because that's how serious I am about not supporting this company but at any rate people are now getting their physical edition copies in they're posting screenshots and so on and so forth and if you will look at the box art and the credits on it there it says aspire and crystal dynamics this is misleading this tries to make it look like crystal dynamics had a role in developing these games which they did not they did shoehorn themselves in the credits but simply as as like, oh, here is the franchise director. Here is the franchise this, the franchise that. So from what we know, franchise general manager, franchise art director, community manager, this, that, and the other. So from what we know with Crystal Dynamics is, I don't know, for some reason, why they are given power with the Tomb Raider IP now that Embracer bought them makes no sense to me. So I, would, I am under the assumption that they may have had to do some approvals on certain things or whatever. I'm personally under the impression that things like the posters being taken down from the uh, Tomb Raider 3 uh, uh, gold expansion that got briefly censored and then put back. I am under the impression that probably Crystal Dynamics had something to do with trying to get those posters down, so on and so forth. So any affiliation any approvals or this or that that Crystal Dynamics tried to uh, insert themselves in would only be negative stuff that they would probably have to push back against. That is my impression of the situation. But we do know that Crystal Dynamics did not develop these games. It is Saber Interactive. Um, so they're trying to mislead you into thinking that we have X Proger here who worked with Saber Interactive on developing these games. And he says, he tags Aspire and says, we don't see the developer logo. Hmm. Why is that? So, um, yeah, this is definitely a concerted effort. 
I know that as a surprise and all this, I mean, people are like, what's going on here? We have Aya Winters here who said, I'm sick to death of Crystal Dynamics trying to erase things they have no business erasing, such as classic Lara, her backstory, and now Saber from the remasters they developed. Now imagine that. It is because of Saber that we are getting these amazing, that we have got these amazing remasters and then we have the upcoming four through six amazing remasters coming. It is because of Saber Interactive that are delivering these faithful, truly uh, a, a love for the fans, right? The, a, a gift of love for the fans with this. So this is because of Saber and they're not even listed on their own freaking game. It just angers me. Uh, so sh then he says, one look at the credits at the end of the game says it all. Crystal employees are just credited for the sake of it. What did they do? Exactly. So we have Lucky here who says, wait until people find out Crystal Dynamics had more active participation in blocking ideas for the remasters, which I can't confirm or deny any of this, but it would not surprise me if that were true. Because here's what we do know from the fans is they, and what we're seeing and even like Tomb Raider, Angel of Darkness, the remaster, they are actively uh, trying to restore the game into uh, closer to its original vision, which everybody knows Angel of Darkness was rushed and that it's buggy, it's glitchy. There were certain features in the game that were supposed to be there that aren't. And we've seen from the leaked achievement list that they have actively been working on restoring that content. So there's so many other ideas that it that could have possibly been shut down by Crystal Dynamics. That would have been really cool to see and for the fans. So, um, so yeah. We'll find out more about that uh, maybe one day, but or maybe not, but it would not surprise me because I've been trying to tell people this and people still don't want to believe it, but Crystal Dynamics hate. <laughs> Here we have fixed. Just erase Crystal Dynamics. They don't deserve their name next to it. They hate classic Lara Croft and they hate the idea of all of this stuff. That's why Crystal Dynamics, and you know what? You know what? Why? They could be credited on here because they inserted their disclaimer in front of the remasters. They inserted their disclaimer disavowing the remasters and saying how terrible that the that the remasters were and how oh how offensive and how we don't align with this and we don't agree with it. They hate them. And if you're an idiot if you don't see the writing on the walls. They have been, it's been in our faces. They refuse to do this for us. Embracer finally does it. And then they have to try to crap on it with their stupid disclaimer. And so that's some people are like, oh, well, I don't want to buy it now if it's got that disclaimer on it. Trust me, that's what Crystal Dynamics want you to do. Crystal Dynamics do not want the classic remasters to succeed, but they have anyway, because they will be further validated if the classic remasters do not succeed and they will be validated in the crap that they are spoon feeding us. So here is the reality of the situation. Crystal Dynamics has struggled ever since the beginning of time that they started making games with Tomb Raider because Core Design had it originally with the classics. Ever since Tomb Raider has gotten into the hands of Crystal Dynamics, they have struggled just to break even with every single title they have made. They weren't making these massive profits like the classics did. And especially with the reboots and stuff, it has been a struggle just to try to break even. The whole freaking franchise gets sell sold off for dirt cheap for what it should be worth more than that. Got sold off for 300 million. Mind you, each game had like over a hundred million dollar budget each. And they sold it for that cheap because Crystal Dynamics is running it to the ground. They are ruining it. They are trying to kill it. They are trying to murder Lara Croft. If Embracer didn't buy the franchise, we wouldn't have these remasters. We would just have this garbage. And so now Crystal Dynamics is working on, have been working on for a long time their next mainline game which every leak that we've seen of it has been utter trash and everybody hated it very in line with what we've seen with the Netflix animation. Everybody hates it. So now they've got Amazon Studios funding it. 
But let this crash and burn. Let it crash and burn. And let these remasters continue to succeed. Then guess what will happen? Crystal Dynamics will get fired by Embracer. And they'll hand the series off to somebody else. Hopefully, Saber. But regardless, I don't want it in Crystal Dynamics' hands. And you know what? I don't care how who's offended by me saying this. I don't care anymore. I am sick of it. I'm sick of the disrespect that Crystal Dynamics has, has given to Lara Croft and Tomb Raider franchise as a whole and Tomb Raider fans. At this point, I'm, I'm, I don't want to play nice about it. Be gone, Crystal Dynamics. Be gone. You don't care about Tomb Raider. You don't care about Lara Croft. You don't care about the fans. We have been patient, 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 beyond patient when the reboots were first dropping. Because we were told a lie. Oh, this is just getting her. This is our origin story. She'll get, she'll become the Tomb Raider. That never happened. Instead, they made her a protector of artifacts. She likes to restore artifacts to their rightful owners. And now they just gift her artifacts. She's no longer, she's literally not a Tomb Raider anymore. We were lied to. They hate Lara Croft, they hate Tomb Raider, they hate the fans, so don't be surprised that the fans don't want you anymore. And we want to see the franchise actually handed to somebody who cares, like Saber Interactive. So anyway, if you're a Tomb Raider fan, if you are a Soul Reaver Legacy of Kane fan, just wanted you guys to know the truth, it is Saber Interactive who are giving you what you want. It is not Crystal Dynamics. So, there you have it. Let me know what you guys think. I know I got really heated here, but y'all know how much I care about Tomb Raider. So, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I found this video is very important. We need to get this word out. I encourage other content creators to make videos about this. We cannot take this sitting down, and we can't allow Crystal Dynamics to erase the people, the fans, who are working their butts off to, to give us this this what we've wanted because crystal dynamics refused to do it so it's my goal to let this be known to as many people as possible and i encourage everybody else let this be known so thank you all so much for hanging out with me today <laughs> let me know what you think in the comments below and if you want me to read the bible to you you can check out my bible channel at bible time with melanie mac thank you all again i'll catch you next time and in the meantime go boom